Welcome back to the Bros Rooms channel, and I have a new plane here, the Spitfire MKV. Now, this plane is a very good plane, I gotta say. It's, like, one of my favorites, to be honest, because it's so good. And it it's, like, really good in the turn. It can It's really good in the climb. You, so you can do a vertical fight, turn fight. It can easily adapt to any situation. It also has pretty high firepower and a 500-pound bomb, so it can take the role of a bomber if you don't have one. And here's some of the stats about it. Actually, I don't know too much about British planes, to be honest. But I gotta say, this plane does have a pretty interesting camo, but it kind of suits it because uh, the British planes would have been deployed during winter time sometimes. So, I mean, it has like a winter camo almost. And as you can see, no one's really playing on realistic mode, so I have to hop into an arcade battle. And if you're wondering why I didn't do a historic, first of all, there's only 12 people on. And, uh, oh, I just realized that 12 people doesn't mean for the whole historic, it means for just Battle of Britain. Oh well. So because of this plane's high uh, climbing ability, I went down for a uh, kill on this bomber here, and it was a pretty easy target, I gotta say, because, I mean, first of all, he won't even see you coming, and second of all, you have that angle above him to where the gunners will have a trickier time getting you. And I'm pre-leading here, and I'm missing a bit, but when this happens, I just start landing all my shots. And this thing is equipped with four 30 cals and two 20 millimeters. So it's pretty good. It'll tear through any plane very fast. And it's just a really good plane. I, I really like this plane. And as you can see, those uh, yellow stripes there, I'm not exactly sure why they put it there, but I'm thinking it's because I know that um, Aces, they would, I know, well, for uh, the BF 109s, uh, they would paint the whole front tip like all yellow to get more attention, to show that they're, you know, to get spotted more easily. So, just to show off that they're like an ace or they're good, you know. So I'm thinking that's what it's here for, but it could just be a camo thing or identity, I'm not sure. So now I'm coming out on these two planes here, and I'm trying to get the lead on him, but I didn't feel like it. So now I'm going to deploy my flaps. Remember, put your flaps in, it'll make you turn so much smoother. And look how, like, easily that turn, like, easy that turn was. Then I quickly uh, switch targets to the heavy duty bomber again, and I just tear this guy up. Like his wing just pops up, and he keeps flying for a bit, and then he just stumbles out of control eventually. And then I just get right behind him, and I go in first person for this just to make it look more like realistic mode. And that guy just blew up, he didn't stand a chance. And this is when I get pretty low on my 20 cals, so I, I end up just using the 30 cals, but it's still like very effective because you have four of them. Now this plane is pretty durable, so it can do head-on-head, -head, especially with uh, Japanese planes. And especially like with a bomber or Kate like that, because the Kate's can have a trickier time aiming. And I went in here because I just wanted to get the bomb in, because I wanted to just blow up a ship with my 500 pound bomb. Which is, you know, it's a pretty good bomb. So I'm going to target the lowest uh, HP ship here, so I can get one of the ships out. And and this, you just have a uh, red dot telling you where it lands. And I don't think it's 100% accurate, so just get pretty close to the ship. So there we go, that thing's down, now I'm going to find another target. If you're going head on head, pull left or down, because everyone pulls up. Let's see, we both pulled up. But I got credit with the kill, and he did too, so it's a win-win. This bad gunner's not going to do anything to me. My guns are too powerful, and I'm landing all my shots. And he just blew up. He didn't have a chance. Even if he did hop on the back gun and tried shooting me out, there was no way he would have took this thing out in time. Don't be this bomber. It looks like it could still fly. But I don't I don't know. It looks like it's just missing an aerial on it. Maybe it's the tip of the wing or something, I don't know. It's not spinning out of control. But it did look pretty cool though. Notice how smooth this turn is, because this is a pretty sharp turn. And I'm going to be able to easily just get that lead on him, and I'm also going to be able just to get right behind him. So it worked out pretty well. However, I had a, I had a different idea. I was going to try to drop one of my bombs on him, and I've actually had a bomb land on my plane before, because uh, I was uh, in my Dauntless, and I shot down a bomber, and he just starts to uh, jettisoning all of his bombs. For some reason, I don't know if he thinks it's going to hit something. And a bomb actually landed on my plane, believe it or not. However, it just bounced right off. 
like like almost all the bombs hit my plane. I don't know if it was a, I don't know if it was supposed to blow up or not, but it just bounced right off. By the way, I follow him for a bit instead of just killing him, and I try dropping that bomb, but I I think I missed. Who knows? Maybe it hit and just bounced off. It, it looked like it missed. Just waiting for that splash in the water, but I'm not seeing it. It'd probably take more time to get on. This guy just flies straight into my path of travel. I don't know what he's doing. He's going really slow. It looks like someone's shooting at him, but I'll finish him off. There you are, I'm just missing a bit. But you can see the water splashes. This is the fire rate on this thing. It's really good. And he just blows up. He just incinerated it. And I think his, uh, sh I think he hit that ship too. Not with a bomb, but with his uh, plane pieces. Here is where I get into a pretty good turn fight. So we come at each other and we miss. And then I start turning into him. And he starts pulling upwards. However, his plane seems to have uh, beat me out in the vertical. So I, I start to get a little worried there. But not too worried, because I know this plane could withstand it. But he misses. So now I turn into him. I have no idea what he's trying to do. He probably thinks I'm already behind him. He's just trying to dodge. And then he flies straight into where I'm just, you know, pointing my gun at. Then he starts to turn, but I, this plane easily keeps up with him. So, he will be finished in this turn right here. And then we're getting him. This is pretty cool, he loses both of his aerial lines and just loses complete control of the plane. That was actually pretty cool. This is one of my favorite uh, parts of the game where you just get to watch him just lose control of the plane. Instead of just like blowing up, like just letting the plane just take him out. And I was gonna troll him, I was gonna drop a bomb there, but then I decided not to. So let's just hop into a realistic mode battle here anyways. Uh, there's one person uh, playing, but we don't encounter each Well, we do encounter each other, but he was taking off so I just let him take off and then he left the game, so yeah. Now this is, to be honest, one of my favorite maps in the entire game. It's just so, like, cool looking. It's so, in there's detail. You saw those uh, hangars there, there's a cliff there, it's really nice. You have AA scattered everywhere. Like, I know there's some weird looking parts, like that line going through everything, but like, for an iOS game, this is pretty pretty cool and the camouflage is really well with this map and I mean it's like all this farmland it looks really nice and I like how they did the water too now looking in the cockpit of this plane you can see how detailed it is like this is insane work like I really like how everything's there you have like RPM for your propeller and then you also have like the climb speedometer and you can even see the rudder pedals move along with the joystick which you can see in every plane not every plane with the rudder though and you see the fuel, and you can see all that. It was really awesome looking at this plane. And this, this is a really nice looking plane. It's one. Of, it's definitely one of my favorites. I have to say, it's really nice. Now I'm gonna use it as a dive bomber here, just to see how good the 500 pound bomb does against the battleship right here. So I'm gonna go in for my uh, first run on this, and then we'll see how much damage it does. So it hit the rear of the ship, and it did, I didn't get any uh, ground kills for it, but it definitely did damage, because it is a 500 pound bomb, and it takes like, I don't know how many, it takes like a, I honestly don't know, I know it takes a, a thousand pound bombs, a thousand pound of bombs to take out an aircraft carrier, or maybe two thousand, yeah it's two thousand pounds of bombs to take out an aircraft carrier usually. But here you can see that I spot the other player, and I'm pretty excited because I think I'm going to get into a dogfight, but then I get really disappointed. So here I'm like, if he's AFK, I'm just going to kill him, but if he's not, then I'll let him take off so I can engage in a dogfight. And so I'm slowing down just to see, and you can see all this flak coming at me, like so much flak here, and it eventually it gets to the point where I just can't do it anymore. And I see he's taking off, so I turn out of it, and all of a sudden I just get hit, like out of nowhere. I'm like, what the heck hit me? And it was flag, and I'm trying to bail out, but I didn't do it. <laughs> but that was actually pretty cool. It just busted the wing off. So it doesn't handle flak too well, know that. But I did get hit by uh, flak uh, after that, 
and it actually didn't damage me at all. Like you could just hear the clang, and it didn't. It was pretty cool. Here's my second bombing run with a 500 pound bomb, and this one looks a lot cooler to be honest. So I drop it a little bit farther up, and I hit it at the peak up there, and it just like it just blows out both sides all that smoke. So I wasn't sure if it was sunk or not. And then another guy joins the game, but he's on my team, so that kind of sucked. I thought I sunk it, but I don't think I did. Now here's where I just wanted to play around with the flak, and you can just see that flak just like hit right next to my wing right about now. Right about now. There we go. But it didn't do anything, and I don't... I don't know why. <laughs> one will hit you from like a mile away, and it'll still kill you. But this one, it was pretty close by and the funny thing is when you're trying to get hit you just don't get hit like I was legit trying my hardest to get hit by a flag I even went diving straight down the plane but I wanted to do it all in third person because I wanted to see the range like how far away it has to be to hit you and uh, later on I do get hit by a flag but it doesn't do anything it just bounces I guess or the shrapnel I don't know it wasn't even a head I don't think it was a head on hit but you could definitely hear it all right, listen to this. So I'm pulling up, and a flak goes right by my uh, wing, and you can hear it. Unfortunately, I didn't see how uh, close it landed. I'm, it must have been one of those clouds there, but it, you know, it didn't. Obviously, it didn't hurt me that bad, so it must have been pretty far. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment down below what plane you want to see next, because I'd be happy to play it. Just don't request the Hein or the A6M3, because I do not have those. So, anything else I have, though. So, just request it in the comments below. And if there's multiple requests, whichever one has the most likes is the one that I'll do uh, next time. And if there's no comments or anything like that, then I'll just pick a plane that I feel will be cool to watch. And if you guys want to, like see uh, this plane again in realistic mode, I can like sneak it in a video some other time because I know that I didn't really get much realistic mode action so just let me know in the comments. So thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys in the next one.